sa ating first ever um house tech reviews. <laughs> house tech reviews brought to you by Team House. So paninindigan na po kasi namin ang pagiging team bahay or team Bye. house. Kaya ka certified na sa tahanan. Ako po ang iyong inyong tatay Z at siya po ay si Nanay Z. At siya po ay si Baby Z. So, ngayong gabi po ay mag- magkakaroon po tayo ng simpleng, simpleng tech house ay mali, house tech <laughs> unboxing. House tech unboxing. Kasi po, uh, kami as as <laughs> plano po namin ay naihong school ang aming anak na si Aya soon and ang plan po talaga namin ay ngayon pa lang dahil napakatalino po ng aming anak ay ma-prepare na rin siya so bumili po kami ng printer masaya <laughs> ang printer para kasi po plano po namin is kapag start ng gadget gadget free na the journey when it comes on homeschooling our daughter. So, yun po. Uh, simulan na po natin ang ating unboxing. So, we're back sa ating pong unboxing. So, sabi ko nga po, Actually, hindi na po ito unboxing kasi kanina doon sa store sa courtesy of Santa Lucia is Grand Mall. Binuksan <laughs> um, na po ito kasi kailangan daw i-calibrate. So with that, so literally hindi na po talaga ito yung fresh unboxing. More of a kumbaga, setup na lang yung gagawin natin kasi kanina na-test na yung ink. Nalagyan na, nalagyan na po ng ink ito. So, most probably, ito po yung magiging setup sa mga stores kasi if we, re- dahil nga po, if we really want to make sure that our gadgets or any tech gadgets are working well, maganda po na may itatry na natin sa, sa, sa mga store, okay? Sa store. Para, uh, in case na may problema, nandun pa lang kayo sa store, ma- mapacheck nyo na kagad. Okay? So, ganun po yung ginawa namin. Nakalibrate na and it was really printing well. So later on, itatry lang po natin yung print. But, for the sake of unboxing it, talagang <laughs> i-unbox natin yun. Okay? So, by the way, ang model po nito ay Brother DCP T310. So, yung description po, ilalagay ko lang po sa description yung full specification from the website itself. Tapos, Siguro po, gagawa na po kami ng other reviews kung ano yung magiging performance niya. Kasi gagamitin po namin ito for more of uh, mga black and white text and images lamang po. But you're gonna definitely try it printing mga colored um, photos niya. Okay, so again, DCP T310 by Brother. So, ano po ito? Ink tank ang ginagamit niya. Mamaya po makikita niyo sa loob bakit siya tinawag na ink tank. So, lately lang rin po ako natuto na about printer. Hindi, kanina lang. I research about printers. So, bakit kasi we also have two printers. Mayroon din po ako ng brother printers before. Or printer before. Yung isa, Canon. And yung brother printer po namin before may 3-in-1 na rin po siya may scanner and may copy or yung parang photocopy or uh, xerox na yung tayo natin dito and yung isa naman is printing direct printing so this one has three functions as well for print copy and scanning okay so why did we why did we choose that because nga po, for business purposes na rin not just for mere printing but for business purposes okay, tuloy na po natin alright, by the way um, 
based on experience, I've also asked those people na nasa store, bakit mabilis masira yung mga printer? Ayun pala, kapag gumagamit ka nung, nung mga ink that is not really suitable for that printer. So, I want to emphasize that because dalawang printer na pinasira sa amin, which is supposed to be sana tumagal ng 3 to 5 years. But unfortunately, it only lasts for 3 years. So, ito yung mga specification no ink na ginagamit. So, I've also asked yung price po ng ink nito, yung black is nasa 370 or 90 each each bottle of different colors uh, nasa 370 rin po siya now, eh, kung ikocompare po natin sa sa Epson and HP by the way, I ang pipiliin po sana namin is HP or Epson but we decided to go to Brother kasi mas maganda yung, yung functional, functions niya or functionalities that we could maximize using brother. Okay? And for reminder, mas maganda na ginagamit yung original ink. Huwag ko na yung mga persuasion. So, at your own risk yun. You could never blame if the warranty of the, the tech product that you're using is voided once you uh, use other ink. So, siyempre, pag ginayulate mo yung pangalang, uh, warranty ang ba tawag ba? basta wala <laughs> rules ba? ok, unbox na natin so okay, ito po yung mga nasa loob of course, you have to keep your warranty card yung resibo or yung resibo, kailangan ingatan para pag nasira so 2 years warranty siya 2 years warranty 2 years warranty ang price po niya is 7,950 dated um, today is July 13, 2019 so 1 year service warranty doon sa store na binilahan mo and 1 year service warranty doon sa brother mismo ok so may dalawang service center sila along Rizal area which is sa Marikina and sa Kainta sa may Brooks okay and the good thing is that pag bumili ka ngayon <laughs> meron din siyang 1,500 coupon from Jollibee okay additional promotion alright of course meron tayong manual may manual tayo paano siya gagamitin so again it's up to you kung ipapakalibrate nyo na po dun sa store or hindi because you, you still have the manual meron pa rin po kayong manual but I suggest kung may sasakyan naman po kayo pwede nyo nang ipakalibrate doon sa store but if you don't have a car or wala kayong sasakyan kasi matatagpag po yung yung, yung ating printer mas maganda po na sa kayo na lang po mag-calibrate sa bahay. Total, meron naman po tayong comprehensive manual provided by the store. Okay? So, manual, meron din po tayong CD. So, tinanong ko po kasi parang hindi na rin patok ang CD ngayon. When it comes on installing driver, meron na rin daw pong online. But the good thing, ayun nga, yung computer that I'm using or that my wife is using right now has a CD reader okay so kung meron kayong CD reader great kung wala meron din po tayo sa online ang ganda man ito nasa natin okay sorry So, parang paper lang yun pala okay I think we could move forward tapos maganda po basahin din po natin yung ating ito pinaka importante parang ito yung bible ng ating mga tech gadgets okay always read yung ating pinaka product safety guide so that we will know how to operate well our tech 
products. Ito po, masipag ako magbasa nito kasi alam ko, importante, importante, importante. Okay. So, let's move forward. Let's read more. Let's try to come on. Asensya na po, first time man. Let's review po. Again, ito po yung mga bottles. Pinalagay ko na po yung laman ng mga ink na ito ng mga bottles na ito, yung mga ink so black, it's yellow magenta and then ano ba tawag nito? isa yun, may pagka blue sya ok so again, 300, mga 375 at 390 per bottle pero maganda po may mga promo sila ok, so tinda na lang po kasi sa store, that's it Okay. So, meron din na po siyang kasamang USB cable. Siyempre, i-coconnect mo siya sa ating, i-coconnect natin siya sa ating laptop. Which I will show you later on. Okay? Tapos yung power cable. So, simple yung simple lang. Parang ano lang po eh. So, set up lang natin doon si Presto. Okay? Okay, so na set up na po natin dito yung ating uh, printer DCP T310 Okay, so nakita ko lang po ilan sa mga function So maganda kasi dito Again, I mentioned why I chose or we chose this over HP and Epson um, Mas maganda po yung functionalities niya Mas detailed siya and mas simple Um, when it comes on Epson with all due respect, maganda po yung mga features din niya, it's just that it lacks functionalities on HP naman, maganda rin po yung, yung, yung when it comes on printing quality niya but again it just it's just because of the functionalities that we're looking for, which is more simple, because this one has a one line LCD okay, so mamaya makikita po natin once na sinaksa ko na ito makikita nyo po na there is a a simple function that will be displayed here so meron siyang enlarge, reduce, copy quality number of copies or the number of qualities kung il il ilang copies yung gusto mong i-print either copy or scan options so may iba pang functions dito ito yung mga direct so these are direct printing functions so kung black and white or color just press it and then it will scan whatever it is that you're going to put here so this is the scanner okay ito po yung scanner nya yung scanner part nya all right this is where you're going to put anything that you want to be scanned well, now what i really like about this, this scanner spe specifically dun sa cover nung scanner na ito is that it is adjustable Look, it's adjustable like this. Why? Kasi kapag libro, or huwag naman sobrang kapal na libro, kapag libro ang iyong e-scan, it has an, the option na nakaangat siya. I hope you could see it. There you go. Okay, so I think that is one of the features that you should be looking for. And maganda rin, may, even, I, I'm not sure if you could see it. Let me turn on my flash. By the way, I'm using my cell phone right now. So, may mga label din siya. So, you could see. Okay. So, ano yung mga size ng paper? So, for this model, hanggang A4 lang po yung kaya niyang scan. So, hindi, hindi niya kaya ang scan yung mga legal size na paper. Okay. So, I hope that is clear. So, kung may ibang model pa, yung next model nito which has, that has a Wi-Fi function, ayun, pwede siyang mag, uh, magamitan or makascan ng mga legal papers. But, I think it costs around 11,000. This one costs around a uh, flat rate. So, another flat rate, mga 8,000 pesos. Okay? So, again, 
it has a refill tank system here are the ink that that it is using okay any refill tank system let me show it to you okay i think you could see the colors here so it will my different colors of the inks that we are using black yellow i'm not sure may, may turn beauty eh? <laughs> and then magenta okay so easily before yung mga model ng mga mga printer talagang direkta pa dun sa loob and ito continuous yung ink okay so i think that's the difference and then you could just easily refill this one oh you will just open this ayokong buksan kasi babasahin ko pa yung manual okay but again nilagay na to dun sa store so you could request them to put it there if you are not sure how to put it there but there is also a manual. So, yun, nadatanggalin mo lang yan. Ilalagay mo yung laman ng bottle kanina that I've showed you. And you will just put the ink here. Okay. Another advice I've learned. Kapag nakita nyo na na umaabot na dito sa line na ito, above this arrow, down arrow, yung ink, better refill it. Huwag mong antayin na matuyuan or maubos. It could ruin or it could affect the function of your printer and of course performance. And alam naman natin, pag bitin, uh, nabitin yung ink, pwede siya matuyuan o magkaproblem ng ating printer. And we don't want that to happen to our printer. Okay? So nakasetup na rin po yung aking laptop dito. Yung laptop ng aking asawa. So I will just post this video and I will just plug in the power cable and connect the printer to the laptop okay so nakasaksak na po yung ating power cable and we're now going to try this briefly paano ba siya gumagana by the way i-highlight ko lang rin po yung kanyang ano bang tawag dito lagayan ng bond paper okay i really love this bond paper tray or paper tray kasi napaka flexible niya I've used in, sa dati na may printer ganito na rin maganda na rin talaga I've used the same printer and ganito yung tray and talagang highlighted maganda siya kasi you could adjust for a minute you could adjust yung kung paano mo gusto na ilagay yung mga papers and again it has specific guidelines okay look at here kung ano yung size yung mga papers so we have the manual there but ang in-highlight lang po dito is that you could adjust well kung gaan yung paper kasi usually kapag yung mga papel di ba may mga adjustment din sa mga ibang mga printer pero sa to lang, pag print mo, balik ko, balik ko. So, dito naging maganda yung feature na to. Kasi, you could really make sure that what you're printing is in line with the paper that you're using. Mas maging specific pa siya kasi meron siyang specific guideline kung paano mo gusto, kung paano mo ipoposition yung papel mo sa paper tray. And, again, this paper tray could hold up to 150 papers or bond papers okay so yun yung maganda kasi yung iba um, wala hindi makakapag hold walang hindi makakapag hold ng marami because yung iba nandun sa ibabaw yung yung paper tray and pag lumabas kasi lalabas yun dito eh diba for example sa HP or sa Epson whatever brand Basta yun yung common, nasa taas, papasok, lalabas dito. Tendency na lalaglag, dire-direcho, madudumihan, masisira, ah, oh, you couldn't count it. Okay, <laughs> next slide na. Pero ganun nga, the good thing here, itong tray na to, is, seems to be perfect. Okay, so, doon mo ilalagay sa ilalim, dito mo ilalagay sa il doon mo ilalagay sa ilalim yung gusto mong i-print mga papers dun dun hihigupin or dun kukunin nung printer yung paper and, and then it will print it will be printed and then dito lalabas sa ibabaw yung finished or printed material mo 
Okay, so I think we could start. Maybe. Okay, so. Okay, so now we will go, we are going to try to print. So take note, kung back to back po yung piprintan nyo, for example, ito yung front nung piprintan nyo, and you want to print something at the back of it, make sure na yung side na yung nanaka should face down. Should face down. Kasi pag hinigop na yun ng printer, it's gonna face up and dun magpiprint yung ating printer. Okay? I hope you're getting it. But along the process, once you start printing, makikita mo na rin kung paano yung process ng piprint niya. Okay? So... Sarado natin. So, this is the process. Actual process na po ito, ah. Ang papakita ko po, what I'm going to show is the printing process when you're going to directly um, copy or parang Xerox or photocopy lang. Okay? Ito yung functionality niya. Turn it on. So, it says there, this way, normal. Mabilis lang. So, this is how you're going to change the quality of the print. So, pwedeng dust, pwedeng normal. Grabe na. <laughs> okay. So, you could also adjust the number of copies later. So, yan. Says, oh, send, send, uh, number of copies, just one. Maubusin ba kayo natin? Okay, so what are we going to scan? Um, let me look for something for a while. Just for a while. Oh, ito na lang. Alright, we're going to photocopy this and then directly print it. Subuksan lang natin. Okay. Ilagay lang po natin dito yung ating photocopy. And then close. And then let's start. Hmm. So, Okay, sige. Photocopy tayo. This is the black and white. Black and white lang. Okay? Let's go. So, it shows here. It's copying. Now, it is printing. Let's wait for the paper again. Ito yung sabi ko magandang output. Okay. So, here is the actual output. Malino na malino po siya. Okay, so wala pong effects yung aking video. But you could definitely read it and see it clearly. Alright? So, hmm. Sige po, itry natin yung colored. <laughs> Let me just post this for a while. Para maglagay po ng paper sa ating paper tray. Okay, so nalagay na po natin yung ating paper. And then we're going to try colored one. Okay? Para makita nyo po gaano siya kalinaw. How clear is the colored function printing of brother. Copy. Mm -hmm. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Alright, 24 seconds. Most lovely 30 seconds. And here is the output. Wow. <laughs> Kaya na pong musta. So, ako personally, this is just normal. Normal printing yun po yan. Normal quality. But, look at the quality of the colors it's good well it's great all right so basically that's it for the printing or for the photocopy or xerox sabi na sa turn ng filipino xerox yun xerox xerox okay so photocopy so that's it now how are we going to to coconut naman isa yung sige naman isa computer naman po basically all you need to do is to install again the cd so here is the CD. Install it sa ating just have to install it sa ating laptop. Okay? Just 
all it again kung wala pong CD CD drive or CD ROM read CD reader yung ating laptop kasi hi ano na po ngayon eh? more or more or most drivers are via online na po nakukuha and I also prefer that so you could also install it online okay but you could also use the CD mm -hmm. okay there magkakaroon ng notification mm -hmm. select to choose what happens with this disk we're gonna open it and then we're gonna run start exe okay basically we just have to follow the steps here just just yes mm -hmm. again I'm trying to keep this short and simple so make sure that your cable by the way is already connected so i-connect ikaw connect ko lang po okay by the way mag-ingit po sa pag-open pag ng ating um, printer so nasa loob po yung kabita ng ating cable maiusin na po natin ng angles as para hindi masira yung ating cable so you could I think pwede po natin siyang iikot dito sa likod you could mm, set, it, set up it well like this para hindi po siya nakatango okay there you go may lusutan po siya dito sa likod okay alright let's just Okay, there we go. It's fixed. And then once it is well fixed, you just have again to go warning po yung ating let it. I'm gonna go to close this. Hmm. I think we just have to put it like. Hmm. Let me just close it, okay? Kinabahan lang po ako. So nag-slide lang pala siya. <laughs> okay, so again, make sure that it is connected to your um, laptop. Connect lang po natin. Alright, once it is connected sa ating laptop, now you could install or complete the process of installing it. Okay, just bilisan na po natin to. Just click next. Good. Mm -hmm. next and then of course you have to accept the license agreement just click next and then it's gonna choose connection type I think it's protecting if it is connected to our device I know I think it's checking the internet so this is a live installation so it's expect that it's gonna take long okay so let me just post this Alright, so let's continue. Now we're gonna select our machine. Machine again, na connect na po yung ating USB. So let's click next. Okay. So na detect na po yung ating so our brother machine model name is detected, and then we're gonna be installing it standard as recommended. Just follow the steps, basic steps on it, and then there we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Mabilis na lang po ito. Then after this, maybe we could try to print one. Okay. Again, we're doing this live. And this is our first 
Tech Review. We're gonna call this House Tech Review. Okay. Hmm. I think this is a software. Oh, okay. So automatic may may mga software siya na nila recommend. It's currently downloading. Alright. So, mga 300 around ng MB. Ta. Around 300 MB. Hindi na download. Isabay na natin. Para isahan na lang. Okay. So, kung medyo nahaba ang na po kayo sa video, you could just forward this. Please para makita nyo po at the end kung paano tayo magpiprint ng, ng isang text or something that we could demonstrate use to demonstrate how good this printer is okay malapit na almost there haba na po yung ating <laughs> video. Okay lang. There we go. Go. Go, my brother. Go, my brother. <laughs> Almost there. Okay, we're gonna start... I think it's installing now. Can I tap on it? Install iPrint and scan. Okay, here we go. So the question is, is this gonna work some Mac? I think so. <laughs> because for sure, a high-tech printer like this will surely work on other operating systems all right installing setup in progress so medyo matagal okay i'll just post this video for a while medyo matagal talaga siya okay so i think mga around 10 minutes din ang itinagal nung mm -hmm. nung pinaka actual ng installation nung Mm, paper purchase doc may, may mga additional there are additional things that they are suggesting to be installed you can just install this I think okay let's just install this I think this is just super fast person so paper port is a document management software package that helps you organize access edit share and manage documents and image files on your computer so maganda na rin. maybe you just install this and if it is just for free why not okay mm -hmm. it takes time Now it takes less time kapag set up naman yung lugar mo, you will just plug and print, plug and install and print, madali na lang yan, okay? Mm -hmm. Almost there. Siguro pag may mga additional na install pa, I will just install it later to make this video faster, okay?
installation. Alright, there you go. I installed na po yung ating software. Finish. Okay. Alright, so now we are going to try it. Pan natin. So, pan natin. So, again, we are going. So, now, tapos na po ating installation. So, we are going to try it. So, let's try printing this one that I've created. A simple document. Saying good job, brother. Okay, so, so just choose <coughs> the print option. <coughs> so automatic na pili na po yung ating brother DCP P310. So all you need to do is to set how many copies you want to make. So this time, I think, let's just try kung ano ba yung magiging itsura niya once we print it. Nang setup is best or yung highest quality. Mm -hmm. Okay, advanced. Gray skin, blah, blah, blah. Print profiles, maintenance, I think. I'm new with this. Medyo hindi ko kabisado to, but color enhancement true to life, sige lagyan natin. So I think this is the settings to make it okay, true to life. Wow, may true to life no? Print quality, ah okay sorry. This is the quality. Let's set it to best. I think we could change this one or remove this one and check this one and then once we're done we could just click OK and then we're gonna try printing it right the paper is already always make sure the paper is all ready on the paper tray okay it's receiving the data okay let's just wait for a while <clears throat> so again since nakaset po siya na best usually maybe you could just use this pag photo paper if you're going to oh gulat naman ako dun if you're going to print it or a photo or a picture use in a photo paper then maybe you could set it at best so there so good job brother overall assessment sa DCP T310 great job ganda so we're gonna be using this again for all the materials that our daughter will be using para sa homeschooling journey niya so expect more um, tech products that we're gonna review for this for this episode for brother DCP T310 good job Right. Bye, housemates.